backdrop is like the forest in a post-apocalyptic fairy tale, and the boy-girl thing in the new Chanel collection makes the story a little like a grungy Hansel and Gretel. But what's the set supposed to be? It's the end of the world. <laughs> I was waiting for a spaceship to come out. The story behind the set and the collection, it's like a grunge fairy tale. You know, the inspiration is the winter. And it reminded me to the winter that I spent as a child in the north of Europe. And the forest looked like this for several months there. And I always thought it was very poetic. Huh? But at the same time, I liked the idea of something destroyed. And then life comes back with a girl coming out of the light box. It's a, it's a set I saw in, in my sleep. So does the idea of the grunge tomboy appeal to you? Uh, very much so. As you can see, I've been dressing up like a tomboy. But... What do you think that means for a house like this? I, I think it makes it very accessible and easy to wear. And younger. I just wanted to throw in one of these long evening dresses that are knitted. He definitely has, has reconfigured Chanel, I think, for a much younger woman. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's definitely things that have sort of started happening that you wouldn't really expect him to kind of follow on from. But the whole all-in-one thing, I didn't think that would be something that was really up his street, but it seems like he's embracing it. I really love that he puts the pants back on the girls. I think he really shows a strong silhouette with the pants and the short jackets, which I loved. Which is a surprise, of course, for Chanel. You know, it's always about dresses and skirts and gets back maybe a bit to his German side. I really loved it. I thought it was fabulous. The lace and leather jumpsuits were really beautiful. And the silhouette was so amazing. The baggy pant, the cropped jacket. Like, I'm totally ready to start wearing baggier clothes. I think, personally, it's a sense of androgyny, and I think Carl's always playing with that, the lines of gender, and I think he made a beautiful collection. It seems you're addressing women for hard times. Times are quite tough, and I think things have to go with the times, and I like the attitude of the girls uh, being a little boyish, but at the same time very feminine. Dark Hansel and Gretel. I will go to that gingerbread house any day. 